Hey everyone, uh, my name is AJ. I'm a designer, creator, entrepreneur. Um, I'm creating a video to show uh, how to create a custom timer in Protopie. I'm doing this because I recently went to my YouTube channel and saw that my Envision um, tutorial of how to implement, implement animations got about 1,500 views in a year. So I was like, you know what? And I had a couple comments. So I was like, you know what? If people like this whole prototype thing, you know, I might as well try and dive in and offer some cool tricks because, you know, I'm doing, I'm building a lot of prototypes for my studio. Um, so I figured I'd kind of share the knowledge. But um, so this is kind of what I'm going to be building. You can see two, three, four, five, and it gets bigger. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all this stuff. And I'm going to start from scratch. So um, just to give a brief overview, this is Protopie. Uh, you'll have your screen, you'll have your preview screen here, and then you'll have your, your um, actual dashboard here. And um, what happens is <clears throat> on this side, you have two symbols, you have two symbols here, right? Um, components, if you wanna create components, uh, we're not gonna be diving in this, but uh, this is your scene area. So if you wanna create another page and you wanna to navigate to another page, um, I'll be doing that in, a, in another video this week. Um, but for now, I just kinda of wanna stay on scene one uh, and show you how to build this custom, custom timer. So I'm gonna put the zoom to around 90 and you're gonna to wanna to come up here, you're gonna get a shape, put it right in the middle, right? So it's your oval. And then you're gonna to wanna to come in here and put a text text field. So I drag that and I'm gonna make that right in the middle, put a number one and I'm gonna make this in the middle, okay? Next, I'm going to label this timer and this background. Then I'll group them, Command G to group. After you highlight both, double click to change the name and timer display. All right, so how do we animate this, right? So up here, you'll see you have a bunch of, you know, tools and you can add images, you can add different types of media, which is cool. I think Framer X offers this type of stuff as well, but Lottie is definitely cool. Um, then you can add custom shapes and then custom text, a text input. If you have like, you know, a sign up or login page you wanna add and then containers, different types of containers, scrolling containers, and then components. Um, and then a bunch of options that we'll go through later, but over here is kind of like the options for the element that you have selected. Uh, so you, this is where you change the size, the opacity, the color, all that. But this is where the magic happens, right here. So uh, adding an animation is so easy in Protopie. Uh, literally all you need to do is click add trigger. For this one, we're, there's a bunch of different animations. As you can see, you have uh, focus. So when you're in a text field, like when you're when you click into it, you have return for when you click return on the keyboard, which is cool. Mouse over, start, like you're, you're telling a list of commands to start when this happens. Um, detect, uh, you know, tap, long press, bunch of stuff. This is why Protopie is awesome. And I can't wait to show you guys, you know, uh, more tricks. So let's just go to, to let's go to start. So what we're going to do is uh, start after jump. So once this screen loads, we're gonna play this animation. So I'm gonna do a text because I wanna change the text of something and I'm gonna make five of these, okay? So you have five text fields, right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight them all by holding in shift and by clicking one and holding in shift and then clicking this one, it highlights them. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna click the timer, the timer layer, which is this guy. I wanna change him. So after I have that set, you can see that these are yellow indicating that there's missing information. So all you have to do is take this timer, this first text, and I'm gonna make it two. And yeah, we keep the font the same, two. Oh, this should be three, sorry. Three, four, five. Let's actually delete this. Um, and you know, in the fifth one, I want to make, I want to increase the size of the font. So I'm going to make it a five, right? 
So when we come over here, we click reset, nothing's happening, right? So <clears throat> what we're going to do is you want these to be real seconds, right? So you have to treat this animation like an actual timer. So to go to two, we're going to have a one second delay. Then we're going to have a two second delay for three, three second delay for four, and a four second delay for five. So now you can see, right, we'll restart it. And there's your custom timer. So I really hope you guys like this uh, quick tutorial video. I'm going to be uploading more and more little tricks on Protobuy. Um, just to help spread the knowledge because I feel like this tool is really cool and easy to use. Um, but anyway, if you like the if you like the channel, feel free to like and subscribe, and uh, I really appreciate you tuning in.